Suri. Get up. Pull. Nice. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, let's just step outside real quick uh, so that we get better lighting. It's a little bit of a noise, but that's okay. So, yep, this is my neighborhood. This is We're in one of the model houses. So, yep, it's uh, 10 a.m. and it's a little bit too sunny, but today we're gonna do um, hill repeats. I'm gonna show you how to do it and I'm gonna also explain why you should do it. So, basically, Hill repeats is one of my go-to workouts back when I was training for races and it will be my go-to workout when the races will open up because the um, fact of the matter is it's the quickest way and it's the most bang for the buck for your time when it comes to uh, getting fitness and when it comes to getting uh, leg strength and uh, when it comes to uh, getting specific fitness for your races. So um, there's a lot of ways to do it. It will all depend on what are you preparing for, whether it be a triathlon, an Ironman triathlon, a sprint triathlon, an Olympic distance triathlon, whether it be a road race or whether it be a, um, whether it be a fondo or a, an endu a very big um, festive ride. So um, I'm going to show you how. I'm, I'm going to walk you through on how to do it and um, I hope you enjoy this one. So back when I was doing triathlon full time, um, we were in a training camp in Laguna together with Coach Matt and together with Banjo and Paul, my teammates in Alaska Tri Aspire. The one workout that we do whole year round is uh, hill repeats on the bike. Um, we will go up and down in the valley and we have chosen a, a short hill that which takes us about two minutes to climb. And depending on what time of the year, how we will approach that hill repeat uh, will vary good basic rule of the thumb is that when you're starting to do this on your training you better start with short distances or, dis or short intervals for me two minutes is already good enough you would want to start with low cadence hill repeats in that way you will uh, in that way you will train your legs to push power and torque and as soon as races open up you would want to incorporate the higher ca cadence workouts or the higher cadence hill repeat so what i normally would do or what i would like to do is like separate it in threes so the first two i will do in low cadence around 50 to 60 and then i would push about 90 to 95 percent of my ftp and then on the and on every third i'd spin my legs and i will push about 100 and 120 uh, percent of my ftp depending on um how my legs are feeling that day but usually if i am st only starting to build into this workout in the year i would uh normally just hit 100 percent and then as soon as the legs start to get underneath me then uh it's it's time to really crank up the it's time to really crank up the power as soon as races uh nears by i would actually just scrap the low cadence work and then um i will ride with 
uh, whatever cadence I prefer to ride during the race and then I will try to push the power like around 120% because in that way I will uh, avoid my legs getting really really fatigued from the low cadence work so um, uh, enjoy this one So obviously there's a lot of ways to do heel repeats. The way I want to do it is I would like to keep the duration short in the beginning because there's only much quality you can do in this in this heel repeats. You don't need to do a lot. You don't need to do very long because uh, because your legs will get tired of the work that you did. Uh, but basically this is a very bang for the buck workout because it's it gets the job done fairly quickly in fatiguing your legs and getting your legs to work. I would like to do 12 repeats of two minutes and since I'm only starting to build into this workout, uh, I will try to get my legs under me and I will try to get uh, power into my legs by just churning the pedals at about 50 to 60 cadence. And then on every third, I will try to spin my way up and I will up the cadence as much as I can. And also it builds up cycling fitness right away, it builds up cycling strength so you don't get fatigued at the back end of your races. It's a perfect workout for someone who loves to race, someone who loves to uh, to be strong on races, uh, this one's for you, so uh, I hope you enjoy this one.
right we're going home uh, we're climbing home actually big big thanks to Dennis for doing some camera work for my vlog today um, it's important and it's worth noting that doing this kind of workout heel repeats um, we're gonna need to uh, do a proper cool down and a proper warm-up because uh, if you do this workout right the intensity is very very high so you need to cool your muscles down stretch and stretch a bit afterwards <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> I would also like to point out that if you can see I am if you can see I'm just doing this workout inside my subdivision inside inside our village so it's a, as I've said this is a bang for the buck workout you can easily do this on the closest hill you can find as, as long as it's uh, safe and um, you can do this workout inside one hour one hour 30 minutes two hours would already be too long um, you don't need to do much because if you do it right your legs are gonna get tired uh, way fast your, your legs are gonna get tired fast so um, uh, build into this workout don't do don't be a hero and do a lot of repetitions right away rather just build it slowly week per week and um, enjoy increasing your fitness I hope you I hope you like this vlog see you on the next one Kingdom coaching out